How far are you ready to go if you want to find out if there's anything supernatural in this world? Would you dare to watch some creepy video that would summon a supernatural creature? Welcome back guys, it's Motion Recaps again, and today we're covering the 2018 horror movie, Slender Man. Four best friends from a small town go online to try and conjure up the Slender Man, a tall, thin, horrifying creature whose face has no discernible features. He's known for stalking and kidnapping people, especially children. Two weeks later, one of the girls mysteriously disappears during a class trip to a historic graveyard. The girls soon find out that their friend was obsessed with Slender Man, and that she even went into the woods to look for him. The girls decide to do their best to find her. And you guys know that we're doing our very best to find you. So go ahead and let us know that you're there by subscribing to this channel, liking this video if you're enjoying this recap, and tap that bell icon to be notified when we got another movie recap ready for you. Alright, and here's our recap of Slender Man. Spoilers ahead. Hallie, Katie, Ren, and Chloe are best friends that always hang out together. They're having a typical day in high school when they stumble on Hallie's crush, Tom, and Chloe's boyfriend, Kyle. From them, the group finds out that they're planning to do something that they're keeping a big secret. Hallie is dining with her family. Her sister, Lizzie, really wants to hang out with her and her friends, but Hallie won't let her. Soon, Ren shows up and Hallie leaves with her. They meet Chloe and Katie, the girls then carefully sneak in, giving their best to not wake Katie's dad. They chill in Katie's room, talking about a lot of things. Katie reveals that she's sick of her hometown. After some more talk, Chloe then tells her friends that she knows what the boys are planning to do tonight, and then she reveals that they're planning to summon Slender Man, a tall humanoid monster that lives in the woods and steals children. After a little digging, the group finds a site dedicated to Slender Man. There, they find a video which can summon him, when they click on the video, eerie instructions appear, telling them that they need to close their eyes when the first bell rings, and then open them when the third bell rings. After the group does that, they see a bunch of weird, cryptic and occultic images. Everyone stays up that night, thinking about that video. Two weeks later, the group goes on a class trip to a historic graveyard. They tell each other that they're feeling weird after watching that video, but they don't take that seriously. However, Katie suddenly disappears, and the girls are devastated. Hallie is with her sister, and they're all alone in the house when Hallie hears weird noises. She carefully goes down to check. Everything seems normal to her, but suddenly, she sees Slender Man. She gets back into her room. Slender Man tries to open the door, but he quickly gives up. Hallie calls the police, and then she slowly opens the door to check the situation, and she finds Katie's father, who becomes aggressive. He's blaming Hallie because his daughter became interested in the occult. Hallie and Lizzie manage to escape. The police come and they arrest Katie's dad. The next night, Hallie and Chloe sneak into Katie's room while Ren is keeping Katie's dad occupied. Hallie and Chloe find a bunch of creepy drawings of Slender Man and Katie's laptop. The girls then go back to Hallie's house to check if there's any valuable information on the laptop. They find a lot of videos of Slender Man's sightings where he waits and kidnaps the children, and also chat between Katie and a mysterious person who knows a lot about Slender Man. The group is shocked when they find a video of Katie walking through the woods alone at night. Later that evening, Ren contacted the person who was chatting with Katie and she tells them everything. The person informs Ren that she and her friends need to offer Slender Man something they truly love. If Slender Man accepts their offer, he will return Katie. The person also explains to Ren that Slender Man is like a virus that gets in the brain and slowly destroys it. The next day at school, Ren tells the others what the anonymous person told her. They ultimately decide to go into the woods and offer something to the faceless monster. As the night approaches, the three of them are going into the woods. They get into the heart of the woods and a veil of thick darkness is all around them. They make a stop at a place they think would be great for a ritual. Ren offers a mug that she made when she was five years old. Chloe offers the only picture she has of when she was together with her father, who passed away, and Hallie offers a little blanket that her dead grandma made. They make an offering and they put on blindfolds. Ren warns them not to take them off, or something horrible will happen to them. They patiently sit and wait in the pitch black darkness. Suddenly, they hear weird noises, like something is approaching them. Chloe takes off her blindfold to see what's happening, and then she's horrified when she sees Slender Man. She runs away, alerting Hallie and Ren, who start going after her. Chloe is running for her life, and she bumps into something. She looks up and sees it's Slender Man. Her friends soon find her, but she's acting weird. They leave the woods. Chloe gets back home, and she puts on some music to enjoy, but a loud static comes over her speaker. She turns the music off, 
and then she gets an anonymous video call, which she accepts. Not a smart thing to do. She sees that someone or something is in front of her house. It gets in, and it's slowly going up the stairs to where Chloe's room is. Chloe heads out to see who it is, and she goes into another room where the thing is, but nothing's there. Suddenly, Slenderman appears in front of her, and he chokes her. She screams from the top of her lungs. A few days pass. Hallie and Ren notice that Chloe is not coming to school, and they become suspicious. Hallie meets Tom after classes, and he asks her to come over to his place that night. She tells him that she'll come, and then she sees Slenderman standing in the woods, patiently stalking her. Ren is at the library, and she's doing some research about Slenderman. She reads a lot of articles about him, and she finds one book that will help her with her investigation. She quickly finds that book in the library. Then she calls Hallie to inform her about the finding, but she hears loud static on her phone, and the lights shut off. Ren is slowly walking around, trying to find her way out, but then Slenderman appears. As she tries to get away from him, she keeps stumbling upon him again and again. Suddenly, the library folds in front of Ren's eyes, and when it stops, she sees Slenderman standing in front of her. He approaches her and grabs her face. Ren's face loses all its facial features, and she wanders around without hearing and seeing anything. To her luck, Slenderman was just playing with her mind. She immediately leaves the library, and she finds Hallie. She tells her about the book that she found, and that they need to go check to see what's happening to Chloe. Hallie tells her that she was with Tom, and that she saw Slenderman by the nearby tree. She also tells Ren that she has running practice, and she doesn't have time to check to see what happened to Chloe. Ren gets angry at her, and she leaves. Hallie then changes her mind and goes after Ren. They sneak up to Chloe's house, and they see her standing near the window, but it looks like she's died inside. They wave at her, but she doesn't see them. After that, Hallie tells Ren that she doesn't want to do this anymore. Ren gets angry at her, saying that she can't leave now, but Hallie thinks differently. She goes to see Tom, who's home alone. He puts on some music and they make out. However, Hallie hears weird static noises and suddenly Tom's head begins to shake and his face looks horrible. Hallie screams from the top of her lungs and Tom is confused. It was all in her head. She tells everything to Tom and she asks him not to watch the video that she watched. The next day, Hallie goes to biology class and she sees that Ren is ignoring her. Hallie is not surprised by that fact but she gets surprised when Tom shows up not paying attention to her at all. She calls him and he gives her a weird look. That night, Hallie tries to contact the anonymous person who talked with Katie, and she finds out that the person's account is terminated. Hallie then hears Katie's voice calling her. Hallie gets out of her bed, and she heads outside nearby the woods to look for Katie. She wanders there and she sees Slenderman stalking her. She hides behind the tree immediately. However, she quickly finds out that he's standing next to her, she wakes up and immediately goes to the bathroom because she's feeling sick. She gags like my cat at 3 a.m., and we get some weird camera movement before Hallie reveals her stomach. A bunch of Slender Man's tentacles come out of it. Hallie wakes up for real this time, and she hears Lizzie screaming in her room. She has a panic attack, and her parents are trying to calm her. They end up in the hospital, and Lizzie is asleep. Hallie walks around, and she starts seeing weird things, like a doctor combing a patient's really, really long hair. Then, she sees a doctor with a demonic face. Hallie continues to walk down a hallway, and she sees a tall figure approaching her. To her luck, it's just a very tall doctor. He passes her by, and Hallie gets to her room, where a dead body is lying on the bed. She finds out it's her sister. Lizzie grabs her arm, and Hallie gets a trippy vision of her in the woods, a bunch of cryptic things, Katie, and at the end, she sees Slenderman grabbing her. Hallie wakes up, and she's next to her parents and sister. Lizzie then has another panic attack, and she mumbles how he doesn't have a face. Hallie realizes that Lizzie had an encounter with Slenderman too. Hallie gets back home, and she goes into Lizzie's room. She turns on Lizzie's laptop, and then she finds out that Lizzie visited the site about Slenderman. Hallie finds a video of her sister going through the woods and leaving an offering to Slenderman. Hallie is shocked when she finds out that Wren recorded it. She goes to Wren's house, the doors are unlocked, and Hallie immediately heads to Wren's room. The room is filled with posters of missing people, and there's a map with locations of all those disappearances. Hallie finds an article on Ren's PC about some missing girl, and that girl is the anonymous person who was in contact with Katie. Hallie then sees Ren standing outside the window, ready to kill herself. Hallie saves her from falling at the last moment. Ren then gets a video call as Chloe did, and something is in her house. Hallie quickly locks the door to the room. However, tentacles come out through the window, impaling Ren and they drag her into the woods. Hallie goes into the woods, and soon she meets the Slender Man, 
who extends his tentacles and begins chasing her like some sort of spider. Hallie runs for her life, and she stumbles upon a familiar tree. She looks around, and there's not a trace of the Slender Man. However, his head appears on the tree, and the tree branches snatch Hallie. They drag her into the tree, and Slender Man captures her. The movie ends with Lizzie's voice explaining that the Slender Man gets stronger as more people watch the videos of him, and the more they talk and investigate about him. Lizzie then tells us that no one ever found Hallie, Ren, Katie, and Chloe. And that's our recap of the movie Slender Man. Amazing what kind of stories can be turned into movies these days. Did you know that Slender Man started off as an internet meme? Really is interesting to see what gets turned into movies these days, isn't it? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below about the movie Slender Man. Also, if you enjoyed this recap, please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video. It really does help us out with the YouTube algorithm. Please check out our other recaps on this channel, and if you want to find something fresh, well, just click on that notification bell and you'll be notified once we drop another recap on you. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.